Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a new Tone Hall with Super One. My name is Andreas Christensen, the founder of Super One. Today we're going to share with you some really, really great updates. Uh, we have revamped the whole presentation deck. Uh, we have a new game presentation. We have an updated business presentation. And as you saw earlier this week, we have uh, presented an updated uh, creative presentation or a creative playbook. And uh, today we're going to focus firstly on the game and the business part of it. We did that last week also, uh, or two weeks ago. We're going to do that with even more and better stuff today. We have been very hard at work with this, and we're really going to share some great, uh, great new stuff with you, uh, both graphics and uh, uh, verbally. We will record this and we will make it public, and we will also present or uh, this slide deck that you see will be published and they will be also uh, published in powerpoint and keynote uh, i told that last time with the creator we have done it and it's ready to be published all it will all go out in one batch tomorrow um, we are tuning a little bit a few things that came in very late when it comes to text and stuff like that so i think we should get started and um, i'm just gonna fire up my keynote and get things moving and um, we have some some really good stuff here today so let me just uh, get that going and uh, make sure that uh, that you can see all the nice graphics we have one second here Okay, so now we are uh, getting ready here. So let me start uh, by uh, sharing my my presentation screen. Uh, it will be, uh, I think we will spend about an hour today. We will try to be very uh, clear and then we will have a Q&A open at the end. You can post your questions. I'm not going to take that many questions during the, the session uh, because it will just uh, disrupt and probably we will cover in later slate. So let's get started. Uh, we have all our uh, images licensed primarily from Getty Images and other uh, other uh, companies. We also made some some deals this week, but we still say that these pictures are for illustration purpose. The reason for this is uh, basically there could be some people uh, we we showcase, and uh, maybe this picture is. Uh, even if we have sourced it from our licensed uh, library it is still could be uh how should i say attracted us um as a famous person or whatever and we we don't want to want to uh in how should i say say we have a relationship with anyone we don't have so but still we are uh, able to use all our imagery and uh, our numbers our uh, estimates are made by us uh only and it's for your consideration. You can ask us about the foundation of these numbers, so we will give you the uh, the input for that. So just to have that as a little disclaimer before we get started, I also gonna turn off my camera so you don't need to see me throughout the whole product at the moment. And it's it's just about to come out into the market, and it's really important that we that we understand the full potential of this game, and the purpose of this game and the mission is to empower billions of sports and entertainment fans to come under one social roof and really connect and earn, uh, earn of course, um, earn uh, tokens, credits, earn uh, whatever, laurels, trophies, all kind of thing, and to share their passion. So the skyrocket opportunity we have at hand is all clear. There are so many fandoms out there, whether it be in entertainment, like movies, uh, movies, music, uh, whatever within entertainment. We also have the sports and that's where we're starting and that's where we uh, kind of put our focus in the very beginning. 
the reason for this is that the fandoms and the, and this is so profound the fandom and the, the the interest is so deep inside the rooted of these these uh, whether it be football clubs or it be basket or or american football even mma all of these crickets that they're all coming together so what we are doing we are bringing these different fandoms all in the one roof together and our initial uh, emphasis will be on the football, as you all know. So all of these are really big, big fandoms with football being the considerably larger with, with three billion people or some, some people claim three and a half billion all over the world. And we have then uh, basket with two billion American football, which is highly commercial. And of course, we have everything on the entertainment side. We are about to launch towards 600 million fans and um, we will reach out in top 10 countries as a start. Those countries are United Kingdom, US, Germany, Italy, Brazil, India, Indonesia, Japan, Spain and the Arabic countries. So our partner that we are, we have entered into a football partnership, that agreement is signed, sealed and it's going forward they have more than 1 billion video views every month and they have more than far out of the 600 million fans there are more than 500 million mobile gamers so this is a fantastic partnership and the game starts launching there on november 15. so we have a lot of work we have done a lot and we still have a lot to do we have very long days so the game we're launching is in q4 2022 is the battle royale it's a free version and that's cre to create a large player base by uh, very quickly by giving away prices we're going to cover that in detail we have the paid version which is where we really monetize and where we give much higher prices both of these versions are going to be highly popular and they are a complete new innovation to the gaming space the way we have created it so this is amazing uh, this combined with our visual and exciting and delightful gameplay really gonna uh, delight people all over the world we're gonna have millions and millions of fans coming in and when you look at the massive uh, number of prices we're gonna we're gonna flush into this game you have to understand that this is really exhilarating game it's fascinating it's very good for the gaming psychology it starts with everyone it will start every five minutes it will start with everyone waiting on the starting line it can be unlimited of players it can be two players it can be one player not one that you're competing against yourself it can be two players it can be two hundred thousand or two million players starting at the first question and then we are pushing you through the first round most people will manage that we have some some tools that will, will bring you very quickly up the round five six seven etc and then it starts to become really really difficult then the exponential curves kicks in and you really need to know your stuff and then the last man standing or the last fan standing as we say will win the first prize of 20 percent 20% is a dynamic uh, number that will be calculated based on how much prices has been injected in the very beginning. So in our free version, we will give away $20 as the first price. We will give away $10 as the second price and $5 as the third price. So that's good. We're going to show, uh, look at that later. It's going to be amazing. So a new uh, game starts every five minutes. We're going to have this going. 24-7, 365 days a year. So 288 games every day. 12 games every hour. Really amazing. You can jump in and jump off. You can get addicted like we hope you will be and really start enjoying it. Then, so we have all this beautiful imagery. We have now in excess of 60,000 questions and we have a lot of things done. We also have beautiful imagery coming from the top image uh, providers in the world. Really crisp, nice images. Um, we are working now hard to have the number really, really high so you will not see re repetitive images. So that's how we use the imagery. 
And then we have the questions. They are easy, medium, and hard. And like I said in the beginning, it starts off pretty easy. A lot of people can do that. You need to feel that you're actually uh, playing the game and managing the game. When it hits the medium territory, it becomes a little bit more difficult. And when you hit the hard one, yeah, then you need to be a hardcore player. You need to really see that, okay, I have the deep and profound knowledge uh, and I know what I'm talking about. So the swiping interface is the whole modern stuff related or the modern inter interaction you have with the game. You have the swiping, you have yes and no to the side. You can choose uh, to swipe either side. This is true and false. That's one, one of the tactics we have developed. Are we probably going to be I haven't seen any other trivia game that had that a simple true and false statement and swipe thing. So this is the Tinder of gaming. Then we have developed three more tactics. You can swipe up and then you will pass the question. By passing the questions, you move to the next question. You can swipe down, then you freeze and you will get five seconds more time. That's for you to showcase that, you okay, I need a little bit more time or I can actually double tap and I can swap to another question. There are sometimes some of these uh, help tools, they are very limited. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that later. So these exciting features, you have a time to answer a question is 10 seconds. We presented five seconds before our tests say, okay, we need to go to 10 seconds. And the first 10 questions, they are easy for everyone. They are easy. So. We, we get you going, your feeling is good. I can manage this. That's the feeling we want. Next 10 questions, medium. It gets a little bit more dirty, more traction. You need to have more knowledge. And then finally, we enter the hard territory and we will submit questions or run questions until there is only one winner. That can be three questions, 30 questions, 300 questions. Maybe we end up with the nerdy people that will sit around the clock doing this, and that's good. But every time, if you if you jump out of a game, you can just jump into a new game immediately. It's a new one starting every five minutes. So if uh, John and Arnold is sitting for 24 hours playing hard questions, it doesn't matter for you because the new game starting immediately. Then we have the aids. Uh, you have the freeze that stops for, for five seconds. You have the swap where you go to another question, you have the pass and you have lives. All of these three first ones, they are actually premium features. So you, you have to pay for them. Not in the free version, but as we move into the paid version, those are premium features. They are limited features that can only be used in a limited sense in each gameplay. That's not to, to float the game with too much tools and too much people paying their way through. So that's really uh, great features. Then we have the NFT cards. So every time you you, you uh, use a pass, swap or freeze in the premium, you have to pay for it. Then it renders uh, staking rewards, uh, staking bonus to the owner of these cards. And we have created, as you all know, more than 185,000 of these cards. Beautiful connection. Every question in the game is connected to an NFT card. That's the beauty of this system. We have really well taught as well engineered and structured from bottom up. So we haven't just created a bunch of questions. We created a whole strategy where we have the questions rooted in every subject matter that also have an NFT. And for those of you seeing these beautiful World Cup NFT uh, cards, I'm not going to say anymore. It's a little secret. It's World Cup is coming up. We're going to be there and we're going to be everywhere out there. So, and you see here the whole lineup 185,000 have it published. We sold, I think, in excess of 50,000. We haven't really uh, get started yet. We just, uh, this is just the allocations. What is important to understand, we have 100 cards for every subject matter in each color, like bronze, silver, and gold. They have 100 cards of each of so 300 cards in every subject matter. In example, welcome Brazil, as we showcase. Then we have 10 platinum cards and we have one diamond card for each of these uh, subject matters. So each of these categories. That's the beautiful lineup of the uh, cards. Let's look into spaces. That's how we revolutionize and disrupt the mobile gaming 
advertising advertising within mobile gaming as you see here when you can you can access uh, uh, a game for free while looking at advertising maybe you need to look at two or three that remains to see how much the advertisers are willing to pay but anyway users will use this to access games so they are able to access games for free and then the advertiser is the one who's actually paying us so the spaces is another uh, is, is a little bit like the billboard on a on a stadium it's a, like a billboard is where you can where we have all these different advertising campaigns and now we have developed a really 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 great campaign uh, tool we have different campaign uh, colors like bronze silver gold platinum diamond they are all connected or uh, re uh, rooted in different campaigns so the brands know okay i want to run a gold campaign it cost me like this of course that's cheaper than a platinum campaign it has less uh, less features let's reach so we have developed a very very good um, uh, program for this we're not going to go into details for this because this is still uh, things we're going to have uh, coming into the future but every time uh, somebody is uh, looking at that advertising there is a bonus going to the owner of these spaces and they are available from our gold loot boxes as we have now so let's move on let's look on the uh, how everything that happened on the platform whether it be a premium features uh it could be available in the free games uh it could be uh entering fee into the premium games or it be looking at an advertisement all of these platform bonuses are paid in real time to your wallet that also applies to our uh, partners of the stars so this is how our bonus our our business model is pure and simple real time that's the main innovation by super one and i have been really keen on keeping that in all senses throughout our whole history we have pursued real time and finality as it is called in the blockchain environment we want everything to be settled within seconds that's the future of business and every stakeholder will be settled here in real time the social gameplay is amazing we created some really cool stuff like i said this is in a social roof we are we are collecting or, or gathering all the crazy people in one place and they can interact with each other in their fandom they can talk about their fandom like we see here a chat in Barso about barcelona they can meet each other using interactive maps and find like-minded souls around and they can play together of course and that's where we have the exciting connections coming together here we see that we are using a cruise from royal caribbean to go to the caribs and basically here you can you can you can play you can find another soulmate on the platform and you can play together and you can win together and you can of course travel together this is probably the best pickup line in digital modern history it's really cool and we can have an amazing array of prices it could be travel it could be enjoy all the stuff together but primarily travel is really good so this is amazing and we can also have of course uh, travel to to football stadium to matches to meet other people to have dinner with 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 stars all that kind of thing so the social aspect is a profound feature on the platform we have the create the bonuses as you are aware of uh, i'm not going to touch that too much today but we have a system where everyone can become an influencer and everyone can actually work recruit players sell loot boxes sell game be part of the whole commercial part that's a very instrumental part of our business and we as you know have started pre-selling these loot boxes and giving you already bonuses so we made i think now more than 100 million transactions on our platform so we are very very well shaped for for this going forward we have an amazing technology of course yes we admit that sometimes we we we, we see uh, issues with it and we fix it but all overall uh, we have 99.99 percent of time we doing really good so another important thing we have is the star bonus because 
as we move into the field, even in the move into football, there are many, many, there are 50,000 professional football players out there. And it's easy to talk about the top shakers and movers, but there is also a lot of others out there. There is also a lot of normal people that really want to uh, start this kind of games, etc., etc. But they want to interact with their fans. Mainly these star bonuses, uh, they are created. So, so uh, these uh, uh, top stars, now we're talking about football players, they can enroll and they will they will earn uh, bonuses from what happened uh, how to say how, how they they engage the crowd it could be that you play against a partner you no know, um uh, a star uh, you can play against the star yourself or you can put stars to play against each other with teams so you can join the team here or Mbappe playing against uh, Holland and they will have scores that's really cool of engaging people versus people or star versus star and we can even here put up uh, uh, put up uh, football clubs like Liverpool versus Manchester United the crowd the crowd will then be fighting against each other it could be country versus country all this this is star bonuses and it's being paid to the star also in real time and also partners as you know, we already have a partnership. It's undisclosed at the moment. That's why there is no logo there. And we here we create a dual system because stars often come with a partner or an agent or a media house or whatever. So it is a, very important that we, from a business perspective, are able to actually provide these bonuses in real time without too much complications. That's why they have a very fixed bonus model. It's not complex at all. It just gives you real time to their own wallet. Let's talk about the Battle Royale and the free version. What we see here is what we are about to uh, launch now in, the, in uh, November. And it's going to be, like I said, one new game every five minutes, 12 every hour. 288 every day that's a lot of games and it's really cool and we're gonna we're gonna have 35 dollars in every game that we're gonna give away so we're gonna spend ten thousand dollar a day uh, in prices in free prices so why do we do that we're gonna attract millions and millions of players and create awareness so we're doing this, of course, because we have a partnership. We're going to be out there in the in the world. We're going to be all over the world. Everybody will have exposure to this this game, and we are now these days creating the final uh, campaign that's going to be released on the 15th of October. Uh, there's a lot of secret around that, of course, but it's really amazing stuff, and it's going to hit 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 the market. So the powerful beginning we're going to have on the on the. A game side is we're going to have World Cup questions. We have created tons of World Cup questions. We're going to cover the top football club, Manchester, Barcelona, Madrid and Liverpool. And as you see, we have this little uh, schnag where we call them super clubs in order to circumvent a little bit of the legal aspects, same as football manager did. We're going to have exciting prizes. So people are going to be able to, to play here and they're going to be able to win. In example, in World Cup, you will win. Here is the $20 and the winner was about 35,000 uh, people. So that's the amazing thing. We have the first price, $20. We have the second price, $10. And $5 as the third price. Every five minutes throughout the whole uh, day. So that's really cool. This is a powerful beginning. And uh, as many of you know, that the big things have uh, small beginnings. But I think we can also say big things have powerful beginnings. That's a cool spin on that from Lawrence of Arabia. So we're going to kickstart this with $1 million in monthly prices. We're going to do the free cash prices, which is about 300 k We're going to have free travel prices also coming in. And we're going to have global player engagement. We're not going to say too much about that. We're going to, of course, incentivize uh, a lot of people uh, to, to help us spread the game and to really engage people. So that's, that's the monthly budget we are, we are uh, running at. Are we gonna we're gonna hit the ground with with great agreement with great resources we really think that this will catapult into becoming a lot of lot of players so when we have a huge player base 
So we contemplate this or plan this to be first quarter of 2023. Maybe it happens before because we are already developing, uh, have developed these things. We need tuning and we need a little bit uh, uh, small things on the legal side just to make sure that we are all on safe. Uh, it's related to the app stores. So uh, when we hit that, we are really moving into the, uh, to the paid territory. And that's where we have the battle royale, the paid version or the gold version. And when you look, and we're gonna have the same new game coming every five minutes. We're gonna keep the free game. So it will be a lot of games to jump into. That's the whole point. It should always be a game starting within a few minutes. So entry fee, $1 per game. Prices will be allocated with 20% uh, to the number one, 10% to number two, and 5% to the top, uh, no, to, to, uh, to top three, number three. So this, why do we do this in addition to the, uh, to the uh, free game? This have attractive prices, can really become frequent winnings and really big prices. So let's have a look on this. Massive potential is here. Look at when 3 million daily players like we, we hope to have, that's our main goal. 3 million daily paying players and they're not going to pay that much they're only going to spend a dollar a day with us which is not that much given we have a three billion fan potential in football only we don't think that's so much it's ten thousand players for every game we have 288 times a day so um it's really cool it's a little bit more than ten thousand for those of you sharp in math is ten thousand four hundred and fifty one but okay round numbers 3500 in cash prices every five minutes every day it will be 2000 to number one um uh, it will be uh it will be 1000 uh, to the second and 500 to the third uh that's when we have three million daily players nothing to do with the free thing this is when you have three million players in the system paying you must not uh, miss this mess mix this with our free game because we are not paying that this is the average when we have three million day players daily players and there will be new cash prices every five minutes and one million in daily cash prices in addition comes most likely more prices because those of you know our calculation this is 35 percent and we contemplate actually to to spend 50% on prices. So we're going to have jackpots and a little bit more stuff coming uh, into that. It's going to be exciting, but this is the, the, the rack bottom or the main body of our uh, uh, prices. So then on the right side, you can look if we have an event. In the example, let's say every Saturday or every day, it can be, can be quite frequent. We have a game. Let's say we have a special game, in example, for a category like, let's say, Real Madrid. Or we can use Liverpool, as we have here. We have a Liverpool game. It's Liverpool category only. And you can enter with a $1 fee. And we can wait. There is like 100,000 people starting. In example, we can call it a, a, a very big game. It's a big game. And it will be then 35,000 in cash prices for it one game that's amazing so twenty thousand to number one ten thousand to number two and five thousand to number three so these type of event games will supplement the 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 the, the, the regular prices that goes all the time every five minutes it's a supplementary thing and we can create this as more events in the sense that they are scheduled games they don't go any five every five minutes uh, hopefully they can but that's a little bit too uh, overly exciting so uh let's um yeah i see there is okay there is something here on the on the on the presentation that's not good so let's move on to the next uh next uh, slide so this 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 shows you the really really potential we have here which is amazing and this game model is very simple, simple to understand. Last fan standing, it just recurs, recurs every five minutes. We have events recurring on a regular basis, coming into all our different categories. 
not only football, not only sport, but also into entertainment. Let's say you have a movie weekend where you're running these things. It could be amazing music. There are billions of music fans, billions of movie fans out there. There are so many, many things we can do with this. This model is powerful. So looking at the 3 million scenario that we are uh, we are uh, pursuing, that, that's our main scenario. That's what we intend or plan to get. We want to have 1% of football fans in the world that 30 million players. And that's also many other quiz games have much more than this. So we believe it's a very moderate actually approach. And those uh, with, the, with the familiarity of mobile gaming and, and football gaming, tell me, Andreas, you have two, two little numbers. But anyway, I like to be conservative, but this is so good anyway. 30 million players, 1% of football fans in the world coming into Super One. If we have 10% of those spending a dollar a day, that's not much, but it renders a lot of money in total. So the gross revenue will be $3 million every day. That's a billion dollar in a year. That's amazing. It's huge. And the net revenue, as we calculate 50%, is one and a half million every, every day. That's half a billion dollar to share every day. One and a half million every, every day. So every year is 500 million to share. It's amazing. So this is an amazing and uh, profitable uh, concept. We are in partnership with 600 million fans starting on November 15. So the question is just how we're going to disrupt the social gaming uh, scene and how we are really going to create a really momentous trivia battle as we move forward. So we're going to now flip over and talk a little bit about the business side of this. With this backdrop, with these numbers, with this amazing concept, there is no shying away that there is a huge business laying there in front of us. It's just about how we play our cards and how we play our strategy, how we are able to reach them. A first step in that, uh, re that regard has, be, has actually been the partnership we are into and also more partnerships coming up. Because uh, we empower all stakeholders to be rewarded in a fair and sustainable way. And we do it on blockchain. We do it in real time. It's called a trustless business model. So the whole business model we are presenting and pursuing and that we have invented is something that happened in real time. It's sharing to everyone. And when you look into the stakeholders, we have this stakeholder economy. And this business model, it, it actually split the money in real time. So for every transaction, every single transaction, there is a margin being deducted for uh, expenses. And we talked about that earlier, and we have it in more detail in our uh, documentation. But net revenue is, for now, 50% of the gross revenue. That means when we have $3 million in uh, gross revenue, there are $1.5 million to share every day. This is equally shared among five stakeholder partners on the platform. On top of the line, we have the staking, which is our, uh, our uh, model of calculating this reward. It underpins and, and is a foundation for the legal aspects of doing this business model. Staking means that uh, you have to park uh, or place your tokens at the platform, and those tokens take part in the calculation and the verification on blockchain for every transaction. That's the legal foundation. It comes from staking. We have the creators, and many of you are creators. You purchase these loot boxes. You have brought in uh, players and people coming into the, to the game. We have the stars. Often we need some rock stars to, to, to push the boat. So the big shakers and stake, uh, shakers and makers can, can really have a great time making money. We have a very inclusive uh, uh, model for that. We have the platform. It costs to operate this technology licenses, hosting, and all this kind of thing. And of course, we have the owners. I mean, the owners, including myself, we have uh, worked hard. We invested a lot of money 
And of course, we also want payback for our services and our risk has been uh, a good venture so far. So the platform's net revenue is distributed for every transaction. And when we look at the potential we talked about with 3 million players spending a dollar a day, there is one and a half million dollar to divide into these five parties every day. And that's easy, 300,000 to each of them. 300,000 to each of them. So that's a lot of money. And if you look on a on an annualized basis, it's a freaking $500 million to share. And that's easy numbers to understand, easy. 500 divided to 500 million to each party. So now you're thinking, okay, that's cool. We see that there's a lot of money here. And you are thinking, that's an amazing number, but what's in it for me? How could I benefit from this? So again, we're looking into the value proposition for you. On the left side, we see the super token. This is based on this uh, uh, $3 million a day scenario. You will have a bonus to each super token, provided there is about 500 million in the market. You will have an annual bonus of 10 cents per token. This could be much higher, it could be lower, okay? If we, the total cap for issuing is 1 billion, but I don't believe we're gonna get there. And when you look into the tokenomics uh, that we will present a little bit later, it will not be more than 500 million during the first uh, years. There is no need, so rest is for future. Then if you're looking at the value of a token, we should never say this according to our legal uh, advisors. But the thing is, we say it uh, by using valuation metrics. And we say to you also, these numbers are our estimates and they are based on how we interpret the market. And it's of course, under no circumstances, any guarantee for uh, uh, that we're gonna reach this value or this payout or any of this, just to have that said. So if we say we have 10 cent paid out and we use a valuation of price earning of 50, we will reach $5 a token. And then you will see uh, if we reach 100, which is very high, it's 10, but that's also possible. Everything is possible depending on the market sentiment. So we cannot guarantee any of this. We just give you the numbers and you can reflect yourself and Google price earning valuation of other companies. I recommend look at coin market cap, look at what uh, Axie, Decentral line, what they're valued at. Uh, Axie was valued a while ago at uh, price earning 065. So last time I analyzed it. When you're looking at the pool, it's a little bit the same. The pool token, which we now have 10,000, about 10,000 pool tokens left to buy. Some of you bought in the very first beginning. They have a, you have a lot of tokens for, uh, uh, for a good price. And it's still available now for a good price. It's going to close uh, as soon as it's sold out. It's being sold every day. So we added 10,000 to it uh, last week. And uh, we, we are running uh, into that now. It's not much left. It's like 10K left, a little bit less, I think, 9K. And that's kind of going every day. So the bonus pool will receive, based on this, it will receive uh, 37.5 million, which is... 75% of 50 million, the remaining part, will be received by the bonus pool. And that's 62.50 for every token. If the circulating supply is 600,000, which is the total supply of, uh, of uh, bonus tokens. So $62.5 for each token, pool token, will be paid out every year. If you use the same valuation metrics and say, okay, what is what is an instrument or what is a token that gives you $60 a day a year worth? It's north of $3,000 at price earning 50 and north of $6,000 at price uh, earning so 100. So amazing opportunity to grab the pool and that's a limited offering. Uh, and also when it comes to, like you know, the super token, we're gonna bump up the price. Uh, the price is currently 0.10. That gonna remain till the end of October. And for those of you who want to read exactly the date, is October 31st, uh, midnight UTC. So with this, you will see the payout. You can get the token now for one year in return. So that means for you buying it now, you will have 100% return within a year. 
when we have three million paying players at one uh, one dollar each, provided these estimates are correct, which we hope them are. <laughs> uh, we've been spending a lot of time uh, simplifying and uh, creating a good, uh, not good numbers, but realistic numbers. So we are able to 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 massage this because we we have a completely new business model, and we need a lot of people to understand this model. Also, a lot of people on the legal and financial side need to understand our business model. So that's why we are we are pursuing a kind of approximation uh, uh, approximated numbers. So that's the value proposition for the super token and the pool token. So that's really amazing. So the potential is tremendous and we need to be great together. Uh, we don't do that without a great team. We have a great, great team now, it's ever growing. Uh, we have this business team where about 30 of them are into the, the on a regular, regular basis and seven, uh, seven, eight are more consultive, but it's really good to work with all of you. Um, they really, really do a great job. We just employed for <laughs> for information. We employed. Uh, we have two people coming in now from Ukraine that migrated to Norway because of the war. They're starting to work. One is a professional photographer. Another one is a UX operator and designer. So we have great, great people. We are expanding the team, and we spend a lot of resources on. Uh, exp uh, on recruiting, we spend a lot of resources on management, getting things into system and really pursuing this in a good, good way. We have made very good progress in this over the past uh, year, actually. So we have the technology team in India. We added, uh, we added another uh, developer here last week and we have just hired three more uh, specific, specific game developers that will start in a month and uh, so we're going to have a team beyond 30 people there shortly we are using our platform partner is amazon web service and we are using uh, kpmg to audit our platform for what we're doing they started doing this in july and they continued doing this they started in june and they submitted a, a report in july and they submitted another report now in in uh, for august that came in september and so we have these reports and why we don't disclose all details of these reports is because we don't want uh, 50,000 people to contact kpmg and ask if this is uh, what it is and etc cetera, etc cetera. so we disclose this as an audit report and that's what we disclose currently. These continue on a monthly basis and um, we are happy to have them and they they will more and more go into the details of the platform and they are monitoring like your creative bonuses, they are monitoring star bonuses, they are uh, doing tests, they are auditing from a technical point of view, uh, how we develop and how the quality assurance is taken care of, how when we have, in example, discrepancies, how we handle that and how we don't uh, encounter that in the future. So we are in a very uh, novel turf, to put it that way. We are in a groundbreaking uh, industry and there are, of course, uh, things that happen that we need to, to redo and things we do maybe not so good in the very beginning, but we see But what we have done lately we have become better and better and better. Now we are also increasing the database speed by tenfold on the platform. And the new design that's about to be released before the game launch is really amazing. So we are getting there. It's important that we need to be great together. We need to work as a team. And we need to, to make sure that all of you also are on board on this in terms of information, in terms of how we do. We know there are always some competitors or people out there that try to talk us uh, right, left and center. Uh, we know exactly what we are doing and we are steaming steadily forward. So that's our disruptive business model. And I'm going to take some uh, questions now because uh, I don't want to spend that much time. So the creator presentation is also ready. And we're going to release it in the morning. We just want to tune it a little bit. And uh, we don't want to spend more than an hour now. So but we're going to have a new uh, session. on. Uh, we can do it on Saturday. And we're going to have a tonal on Saturday where we run through this again. 
and we run through also the creative presentation then, but then we can be a little bit faster on the business side. So at three o'clock on uh, Saturday, we do uh, this. So uh, then I will thank you for now, and I will, will then uh, go to a QA. and a I need to stop the sharing, and we will, we will see where we are on uh, the Q&A. There are some questions here. Just give me a little time to 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 see it. Okay, there are somebody asking about the pool token. If we wanted to change it to seven and a half percent, that's already done. It's implemented and it's live and kicking. So. Uh, what currency will um, game players be able to, to play in? That will be both from the App Store. When you're coming into the App Store, you're paying with your fiat money or your credit card, and you will get super, super is the, uh, is the currency on the platform. So that's what's got everything going to be converted to super, but it's going to be based on the super price that's uh, on the listing site. We're going to talk about that in another uh, corporate uh, webinar. And we have some amazing uh, progress going on when it comes to, to that also. So, um, one second. Yeah, somebody's asking about uh, the old calculation that we calculated earlier, a little bit higher staking. That's because we've taken down the estimates. Uh, a lot of things has happened out in the world uh, and uh, we have also introduced this new business model where we have uh, to take care of uh, of uh, other partners uh, that could be stars could be other partners could be stuff related to that uh, we also uh, looked at the tokenomics we sold a little bit more tokens so there are more tokens in the calculation so there's a mixed uh, a difference of, of the parameters that were from the previous estimates and this is something you have to understand in a project like this it could change it could change both ways and uh, we try to do be as prudent as possible when we do these things and uh, but of course things can change so um let me just see one second i'm just gonna go here and see uh, Okay, there are some people asking about uh, 60,000 questions, uh, if that's too little. Uh, for a game that goes every five minutes, we're going to run out of questions. And then you have uh, unfortunately misunderstood how the platform is working. We have questions and we are mixing them into different, different uh, uh, arrays with different combinations. There are billions of billions of combinations. There is no, no game that will have the same combination on the platform. And trust me, you will not understand this. Uh, you will not be able to rehearse these questions. You get 10 seconds. There are different pictures for, for, for maybe the same question. We are using m multiple pictures. Are we using multiple? It's, it's, it's pretty complex, this thing. So no problem with that. We are not afraid of that at all. You're probably going to have hundreds of thousands of questions coming into this also. I think before we open, we're probably going to touch uh, at least uh, at least 70,000 questions. But it's, it's not about the, the amount of questions. It's about the excitement and how it is. I mean, 1,000 questions is also a lot. You're going to play a lot to really uh, kind of traverse through all those questions. So uh, somebody didn't have sound. It shouldn't be from me. and. Uh, It's asking, will the utility token be the same as the governance token? Yes, there is only one token called Super. Uh, that Super part take in the calculation on the platform, also in the security mesh that we talked about. So that token is a utility token. It is also a governance uh, uh, token. So altogether, this work in concert, and that token, from a, from a legal point of view, is being used on the platform, partaking in uh, calculation and in a security mesh like we talked about with Nowris protocol and uh, so 
we, we are on safe turf when it comes to the utility and the the uh, uh that the governance there actually no governance into it because there we haven't created a DAO or a decentralized uh, autonomous organization we haven't really done that because we don't see the need for it uh so this project is is run by the company and that we are moving uh, steadfast forward so we don't we don't have a, a DAO in the traditional perspective so the governance related to uh super token is related to its uh it's uh it's uh how should i say a uh, share of the staking that takes place every every transaction so that's where it is um some more questions uh when do you expect token launch that's always a recurring special uh, no question coming back and uh, we have launched the token it's already there it's um uh, actually on pancake but we are not trading it we are not trading it and the reason for this is when you're launching a, f a project like this, there are many, 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 many different uh, things to do. And now we see the market has been a little bit bad. And we, we are not here for selling on expectations in that sense. We are here to create a great, great product, move in, get millions of players and use that as a springboard. But at the same time, we are launching the game. We also have initiatives when it comes to the corporate and the listing of the company. Of course, we're going to use that uh, that um, how should I say cycle and the, the the hype around the game and the world cap and all that. Of course, we are using that to the poss largest possible extent, and we are already dealing with that. So, um, but the primary goal is to have millions and millions of players and to convert them into become millions to millions of profitable players. Once we have that, we have a true success. We don't need uh, a success where we, we, we enter into an exchange. There's a lot of artificial trading based on not the solid foundation. And then it kind of comes down. I mean, everything that comes up in the crypto has also come down. We really want to do it properly. We have a long term vision and uh, not only wishing but also a long-term commitment on our side uh, all managers and everyone that has an agreement with this company have locked up their tokens for two years so uh, we, we are not here to do a, a very quick run on, on a kind of uh, token run whatever so a lot of people have done that in the industry i believe that being a solid enterprise first building it like you do in a traditional way with an IPO, IPO, it's it's getting much better. Now we are also facing new regulation when it comes to <coughs> KYC and AML. We need to procure that we are on the legal safe turf when it comes to these things. So that's what we're doing. Again, uh, that's the questions we we have for today. Not that many questions. Uh, any question, reach out to either help at super.one. They are monitoring 24 seven, more or less. They get back to you quickly. That's the quickest way to get help or to ask any questions. Now, it's not, not every question they can answer. When people are asking about, okay, when is the listing, etc., we will not answer that. We will give you that information when it's ready and firm. Like we did with this partnership, we announced it when the deal was signed, and now we are announcing it with the firm date we are going into the market. And uh, that's it, and that's it for now. And uh, so Saturday, uh, we have a new uh, town hall reviewing even more. There is so much here. We can spend hours every day talking. So uh, the material will be released tomorrow. So uh, study it. You already got a playbook earlier this week with a lot of, lot of information. Go through it. We can have a big Q&A on Saturday. If you want something, send it to ask at super.one and we will prepare uh, anything. Uh, they might even need to prepare a slide or two to explain things. We want your help. Like I said, we want to work together. So we need you to understand what we're doing. We are not telling you what to do. We want you to come to us and say, Andreas or the team, uh, please tell us more about this. And we think this is good. This is bad. We also like uh, to be told that we do something good, not only bad things. So <laughs> I hope that's uh, a good message for you. And you can reach out to uh, to either directly to me, uh, those of you have my numbers, or you can reach out to the help team or to Stians, which is instrumental in uh, in talking to the crowd. 
or to any of our leaders that you already know. They all have uh, direct access to us, uh, more or less 24 seven. So that's it for now. And we're really gonna push, push hard because the rest of October is important for all of us. Um, it sets the, the, the scene for what we are doing in November and December. So thank you very much and have a great evening in this Thursday. Bye bye. Recording stopped.